Good morning. Today we're going to understand the reality behind some common mistakes or misconceptions that students have about objects in free fall. Here we go. Hey guys. Hey ball. Uh, hi ball. Let's start with a quick review to make sure we're all on the same page. Bo, could you please remind me, how do we identify an object in free fall? An object in free fall is one that isn't touching anything else, and there can't be any air. True, I like to call it being in the vacuum that you can breathe. And Billy, what do we know about an object that's in free fall on Earth? Little g, or the acceleration due to gravity on Earth, is positive 9.81 meters per second squared. And the acceleration in the y direction is equal to negative g, so the acceleration is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Or 9.81 meters per second squared down. Great, and remind me class, is the acceleration due to gravity, little g, positive or negative? Positive. positive. And this makes the acceleration in the y direction for an object in free fall positive or negative? negative? Negative. Great, the first misconception is that if I throw this ball upward, then when it is moving upward because the velocity is positive, the acceleration would also be positive, and therefore it would be a positive 9.81 meters per second squared. Bobby, please explain why this is incorrect. Uh, well, we know the ball will slow down as it moves upward, therefore the direction of the acceleration needs to be opposite the direction of the velocity. Uh, therefore, because the velocity is upward and positive, the acceleration must be downward and negative. Exactly, Bobby. So the ball slows down on the way up, so the acceleration is opposite the direction of the velocity. Therefore, the acceleration is down and negative. Who can explain to me what would happen if the acceleration were positive on the way up? Uh, the ball would shoot upward like a rocket, right? Yep. If the acceleration were positive, the ball would accelerate upward like a rocket. Just like this. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. Cool. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. Next. Sometimes students tell me that the initial velocity for an object being thrown upward is zero. I love this because then I get to show an object being thrown upward with initial velocity of zero. Watch. <laughs> See? It won't go anywhere. Yeah, that's not gonna go up very far. Right, an initial velocity of zero will not cause an object to move upward. In fact, the initial velocity in the y direction must be positive in order for an object to move upward. Another misconception is that if I drop a ball, and if I take a ball and I throw it downward, that the ball that I threw downward will have an acceleration downward that is larger than if I just drop the ball. Billy, please help dispel this misconception. Well, we know the dropped ball and the ball thrown downward will both have accelerations of negative 9.81 meters per second squared because they are both objects in free fall. So I don't really see why people would think the thrown one would accelerate more. Uh, Billy, can I give it a try? Sure, Bo, go ahead. Uh, I think it's because people don't often confuse velocity and acceleration. Uh, the ball that is thrown is moving faster However, its velocity is not changing faster. So it must be because people see the ball moving faster, they assume it must be accelerating more quickly. Right, Mr. P? Yes, Bo, very nice. The thrown ball is moving faster, therefore people think it is accelerating faster. However, it is not. As Billy pointed out, both objects are objects in free fall, and therefore both have an acceleration in the y direction of negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, remind me, Billy, what is the velocity in the y direction for an object in free fall at the very top of its path? Right there. Uh, the velocity at the top in the y direction is zero. And Bobby, please explain to me one way we know why. Um, on the way up, the velocity is positive, and on the way down, the velocity is negative, so at the top, the velocity must be zero. Which leads us to our last misconception. Class, what is the acceleration in the y direction of the ball at the very top of its path? Again, right there. Uh, uh, zero. Negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Right, which is why we need to talk about this. Class, when the ball is at the very top of its path, is it touching anything? No. no. Is it in the vacuum that you can breathe? Yes. yes. Then, is it in free fall? Yes. yes. Then its acceleration is? 
negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Uh, but its velocity is zero, so it, its acceleration must also be zero. It is very common to assume that because the velocity at the top of the path is equal to zero, then also the acceleration must be equal to zero. This is not true. To help us to understand why, let's start with the equation definition for acceleration. Please, Billy? Acceleration equals change in velocity over change in time. I think it's safe to assume that time doesn't stop, therefore the change in time is not going to be equal to zero. Therefore, if the acceleration at the top is equal to zero, then the change in velocity at the top must also be equal to zero. Therefore, the velocity would not change at the top if the acceleration at the top were equal to zero. So, Billy, explain to me what would happen if the acceleration at the top in the y direction were equal to zero. Oh, it would stop in midair and just float. But because uh, if the velocity is zero at the top and the velocity isn't changing, then the velocity would continue to stay zero and the ball would just float there. Right. It would look like this. Huh? Hi. Awesome. Mr. P, that's cool. Wait, I thought it wouldn't do that. Therefore, the acceleration clearly isn't zero. Sorry. Um, and it is an object in free fall. Therefore, the acceleration in the y direction is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Any questions? No, I'm good. No, I got it. I, I think I'm okay. So ends our common free fall pitfalls lesson. Uh, let's do a quick review. First off, for an object going up, the acceleration is still negative. For an object thrown upward, the initial velocity in the y direction must be greater than zero. For an object thrown downward, again, it's still in free fall, so the acceleration is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Yes, it's moving faster, but it's not accelerating more. Uh, the velocity at the top in the y direction is equal to zero. And lastly, the acceleration at the top is still negative 9.81 meters per second squared because it's an object in free fall, regardless of the fact that the velocity at the top is equal to zero. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I've enjoyed learning with you.